Hi, it's, uh, it's John Marod here from yournetbody.com. I'm just testing this new um, Rode NT USB microphone that I got. Um, when I first plugged it in, I wasn't very pleased with the, the sound quality, but um, I made some adjustments. I'd like to show you what those adjustments are, and it's improved it enormously. So here we go. Um, at the moment, the it's not moving very much on the uh, Camtasia microphone setting. It's just it's really going up only one bar. Uh, well, I thought it should at least go up about six bars. Right now, I've made some adjustments. Uh, I've gone into the um, the Mac preferences, and there's five bars, uh, and now I've got it set at three and a half. Before it was set at about two and a half. Now it's set at three and a half, and it, the actual meter on the Camtasia seems to be moving much further now. So hopefully the recording is a bit better, and the actual speak speech um, markings I can see on the the previously recorded video, which were very low. I'm hoping that this one will will perhaps at least come up halfway uh, towards the top, because I think that will give a, a deeper quality of sound. So anyway, let's just quickly check this and, and see what it's like. Now I just want to check um, how far away the mic can be and still pick up reasonable sound. At the moment I'm, I'm probably about, uh, I don't know, two or three inches away from the microphone. It's got the pop filter fitted, so hopefully it's, uh, it's not getting any pop sounds. But uh, now if I move the mic away a little bit, um, that's quite a comfortable position for it to be, but does it pick up the sound well enough at that position? So this is the sound here. I'm going to move it. That's about um, 10 inches away from, from me. Now I'm going to move it a little bit further. So now it's about ooh, 14 inches away, 15 inches away. So is that sound acceptable? Or is this sound more acceptable when it's about 8 inches away? Or is this sound more acceptable when I bring it to only about 2 inches away? So let's just play it back and, and see what the difference is. Right, um, one final test. Um, I just want to see the effect it has on the sound. It's uh, keeping the microphone the same distance away all the time, but I'm just going to adjust the settings on the input volume, which is through the system preferences. So at the moment it's set on number 5, 50%, uh, yeah, 50% at the moment. And now I'm going to slide it up to this one here, which is... Let's say, I presume it's 75, but no, there we are, 74%. So say 75%. And then I'm going to send it up to 100% just to see what it does to the sound. So that's on the 100% setting, which might be too loud. That's on the 75% setting, which might still be too loud. That's on the 50% setting, which is a bit lower than what I had it set at before, because I think I had it set on halfway between the 50% and the 75% before. Um, the setting I had before was about here, about 65%. So is that the best setting? Or is 50% acceptable? Is 45% or so? Is that acceptable? If I go down to 30%, is that acceptable or is that too low? I get the impression that that might be too low, but we'll soon check. So it's at the 30% setting at the moment, now it's at the 50% setting, which is the one I think that I favour at the moment. 50% uh, setting, and then we go up to the 65% setting, which is the original one that I had. And then we go up to the 75% setting. 75% setting, 65% setting, 50% setting. Let's just leave it at that for now and see how it turns out. Right, so I've come to the conclusion that um, the best way to control the volume of, of recording on this uh, Rode NT USB microphone is um, just on the slider here within the system preferences on a Mac and there'll be a similar system settings on, on a Windows PC. But if you, if you move this uh, backwards and forwards, that's the way to uh, control the volume of the input, um, which I seem to think around about here is, is working well. Um, and the controls on the actual, let's see if I can go to the controls uh, on, on, the, on the actual uh, microphone itself. 
Right, if I'm playing back something, the, the, this dial um, here is not volume. It's a, it's a split between recording your voice up to the middle setting there, and then it goes over to recording the system sound of the computer. So if you was doing a screen capture recording, um, sometimes when, when you play it back, it, it's not very loud. Like if this one here, for example, uh, something I recorded yesterday, um, if I play it back, it may not pick up very well in the microphone, but if I turn this over, so that should be picking more system sound up now from the computer. And then you need to turn it back to this setting over here to give uh, the priority to your own voice when you're recording. The 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 d dial at the bottom is is just if you plug headphones in so that you can instantly monitor the sound quality, and uh, then that is just to, c to control the sound that you hear within the headphones. And that's the only two controls that you've got on on this microphone. Everything else is done from within your computer under system preferences. I hope that's useful. It took me a little while to fi figure it out. I didn't think the microphone was very good at first, but it was all down to the settings. And once you get the settings right. I'm quite pleased with the, the quality of the sound. Yeah, I think it's really good. Thanks for listening. I hope you find that helpful and hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.